Seeing double isn't always a bad thing. Alex discovered this quite early. Two mangoes, two ice creams, two gold medals, a double degree, two phones. But the one thing that he couldn't get to double was his bank balance. Maybe he shouldn't have bought those two phones. He was thinking about this when his old college professor walked in. Hey Alex, how are you? Why do you look so sad? Alex explained his conundrum while the professor listened patiently. Ah, but this is easily solved. Come, I'll tell you over coffee. Make that too, Alex said. Once they settled down, the professor who looked a little like Einstein said, "What you need is compounding. It's the eighth wonder of the world." Now Alex had learned about compounding as a child. Everyone had. It's basically the interest you earn on interest. But how would that solve his problem? Imagine you had 100 rupees which you put in a fixed deposit that gives you 10% every year. So after the first year, you'll have 110 rupees, right? Now in the second year, you earn the interest on 110 rupees and not 100 rupees. This is compounding. Now if you're wondering how long it will take for your money to double, there is a very simple method. It's called the rule of 72. What you have to do is divide 72 by the annual rate of interest. At 10% rate of interest, it would take about 7 years for the initial 100 rupees to double. But imagine if those 100 rupees were actually 1 lakh rupees. At 10%, you'd have 2 lakh rupees in 7 years. What's more, if you add to that 1 lakh rupees every month, your earnings multiply at an even faster rate wow that's amazing alex said not feeling so guilty about his two phones anymore alex set out to make his first investment no matter who you ask when it comes to compounding the universal belief is that it is the best tool for creating wealth over the long term but the operative word here is long term so it goes without saying that you should ideally start early to get the most benefit now a lot of people who are early in their careers wonder why they should be thinking about saving for their retirement it's a valid question the reason really is that if you do begin investing as soon as you start earning you're going to give your investments 25 to 35 years to grow so even if you start with a 1000 rupee investment a month do so it'll get you into the habit of saving and you can always ramp it up you should aspire to save 20 to 30% of the money that you earn every month if you found this content interesting do let us know in the comment section below or simply hit like if you'd like to see more such content then do subscribe to our channel this is bloomberg quint